Maybe we don't think about ice that much, unless there's none in the freezer and we have to drink a warm can of soda. Or maybe it's too icy and school is canceled for a snow day. Or maybe a good game of hockey, perhaps even a romantic skate in the park. Scattered all throughout this glacier are massive vertical sinkholes. The cold, hard, slippery truth is that ice deserves more consideration than that, and not just the kind you put in your drink. There's much to be learned about our past, present, and future from studying it, and especially, just for you, there's the unimaginable stuff frozen deep within it. From frozen fishies to chilly volcanoes, ice sculptures to ice beards? More on that to come. Grab yourself a nice beverage or a refreshing popsicle and prepare for a brain freeze. Here are 15 of the most surprising things found frozen in ice. <laughs> Number 15. 5,000 Frozen Fish Space World in the southern part of Japan opened an aquarium-themed attraction where skaters could glide over 5,000 fish frozen in the rink's ice. And yeah, it looks as bad as it sounds. Pictures posted online showed some fish have submerged in the ice with their mouths open, while others were arranged to form arrows under the ice. The rink also appeared to have sea creatures such as rays and crabs, although the park said that these were just enlarged pictures of marine life, according to reports. About 25 different kinds of fish could be seen under the 820-foot-long ice circuit. The park also said it used only fish that were already dead and unfit for consumption, brought from a wholesale market. And wow, we get an ocean graveyard for the world to see. What genius thought this up? Space World social media blew up with negative reviews. You're gonna, your skate is going to hit the fish mouth and you're going to break your ankle. What were they thinking? To use dead fish to decorate a playground? The theme park then decided to hold a memorial ceremony for the fish. So, yeah, that happened. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Frozen Crop Circles? Do aliens use ice? This could be evidence that they do. Crop Circles on Ice? This video, which has left people completely baffled, was shot by two friends somewhere on a frozen lake in Utah. At first, it appears to show some kind of crop circle imprinted in the ice, but what they find when they get in closer, the pair film the giant object before poking at it with their fingers. Bizarrely, the icy mass was a perfectly circular shape, permeated with small holes radiating from the center. The video was uploaded to YouTube by Jason Nielsen, and viewers have offered plenty of explanations as to what it might be frozen crop circles? And it was happening elsewhere, too. News from the Qinghai province in the central northwest part of China confirmed an overnight crop circle like the strange shapes the Americans discovered. Residents were alarmed to find an ice circle carved into the ice covering Qinghai Lake, the largest salt lake in China. Are these alien communications from a faraway galaxy? Number 13. Big Fish Little Fish Never test an ice fisherman and his best fishing buddy. To men in Indiana accused of posting a fake picture of two frozen fish on a death grip have gone the extra mile to prove that it's legit. Using a chainsaw, Anton and Alex Babich cut a block of ice right out of Lake Wawisi to better exhibit their extraordinary discovery. The video was made after a photograph of the entangled fish went viral earlier in the month. A bass and pike frozen in ice is something not seen every day. Two fish seem to be locked in a battle and frozen in time. A pike didn't get to finish its last supper, a bass, before freezing and being locked in an ice in the lake that they were found in. The two brothers came across this crazy find while ice fishing close to Syracuse in northern Indiana. Some people never believed the brothers actually found the pike and bass frozen in what looks like an epic chase. So the brothers decided to go back to where they found it and get video of them cutting the bass and pike frozen in ice out with a chainsaw. That's what a bass and pike frozen in ice looks like frozen in time. Number 12. Shackleton's Frozen Photographs More than a century ago, famed polar explorer Ernest Shackleton and his surviving crew members watched as their ship sank beneath the Antarctic ice after being trapped for over a year. But while the ship was lost, Frank Hurley, the expedition photographer, managed to save his bulky camera equipment and continue documenting their efforts to survive. Hurley documented everything about their day-to-day -day struggle to make it through. 
Incredibly, despite being frozen for a century, a search team was able to rescue the film from the ice and restore 22 pictures, offering a never-before-seen look at the tragic event. These images bear witness to the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. The photos were taken of the Ross Sea Party, who was working with Shackleton during his mission to cross the continent from 1915 to 1917. The story of Shackleton starts way back in December of 1914, when the explorer and his crew set out to march across the Antarctic continent, a task that no one has ever achieved, and they failed. Marooned in incredibly harsh conditions and the loss of their boat, the men continued on. It wasn't until 1917 that they were rescued. Number 11. Hibernating Frozen Alligators Like snorkelers who picked a particularly bad time to take a dip, these alligators at Shallot River Swamp Park in North Carolina are trapped in frozen waters, but an ancient survival mechanism is kicking in. Ordinarily, these alligators would be spending their time sunbathing or resting along the bottom of their swamp, but in a video captured at the Swamp Park, we can see the animals adopting a very different way of dealing with the punishing cold spell. They poke their noses out of the water as it begins to freeze over, with their scaly snorkels becoming their only conduit for oxygen. What they're doing is called brumation and involves the reptile's metabolism slowing down dramatically and going into a lethargic state in response to very cold temperatures. They can't let their bodies get too cold, however, or they'll die. American alligators, a member of the order Crocodilia, are cold-blooded animals, so they essentially take on the temperature of their surroundings. That's why they bask in the sun, using the heat to get toasty, and why they can't live too far north in the US. Yo, alligator, chill. Number 10. Iceland's Frozen Volcanoes The Icelandic Meteorological Office, which also monitors volcanic activity, has increased monitoring of the country's largest volcano after reports that a new ice cauldron had formed, a frozen volcano. Drone footage suggests that something is changing under the Earth's surface in the area. Scientists examined volcanic ash around it, in preserved peat deposits and lake sediments and discovered a period with less volcanic activity around 5,000 years ago. I cannot believe we're on a glacier right now. But not only on a glacier, but a glacier that's on a volcano. The volcanoes were much quieter during this time period and it happened to coincide with a drop in global temperature. And of course, now as Iceland's glaciers are melting due to climate change, volcanoes may start waking up. The volcanic system in Iceland has been recovering from a little ice age, which was a period of a cooler climate between 1500 and 1850. Due to a rapid increase in global temperatures across the past few decades, the decrease in glacier coverage also causes a decrease in pressure on the Earth's surface, hence Iceland's frozen volcanoes. Let's just hope it doesn't erupt. Number 9. Resurrected Seeds Scientists in Russia have grown plants from fruit stored away in permafrost by squirrels over 30,000 years ago. Cool, right? The fruit was found in the banks of the Kolyma River in Siberia. The squirrel's burrows, 70 in all, were found in northeastern Siberia, over 50 feet below the current surface of the tundra and surrounded by the bones of mammoths and other creatures. Some burrows contain hundreds of thousands of fruits and seeds, wonderfully preserved by the cold, dry environment. They are the oldest living multicellular organisms on Earth, the research team says. So what's next? Try planting the seeds? Yeah, that's right. The plants have already bloomed to produce fertile seeds, which were grown into a second generation of fertile plants. During propagation, the breeding of specimens of a plant or animal by natural processes from the parent stock, the ancient form of the wild flower was similar to flowers found along the banks of Kolyma. This suggests that the seeds have a distinct ability, adapting to the extreme environment of the Ice Age. Super Seeds Thanks, squirrels! Number 8. Ancient Viking Artifacts The retreat of melting glaciers has revealed a lost mountain pass in Norway. Researchers first discovered the pass in 2011, and the artifacts have been revealed as more ice melts ever since. Dating the objects helped them reconstruct the timeline of when the pass was used and its purpose. A horse snowshoe, the bones of pack horses, sled fragments, and a walking stick inscribed with runes of all reveal the transportation used on the pass. Other objects discarded along the way include a knife and its wooden handle, a birch bark container, a wooden needle, tinder box, a wooden whisk, and a distaff, a tool that was used to hold wool as it was spun by hand. 
you can see that it's all melted away. The lake has gotten bigger. Some of the most remarkable items include blue textile rags, a Viking mitten, shoes, and a complete Roman Iron Age tunic. In recent years, climate change has caused mountain glaciers to melt away, revealing well-preserved markers from different periods in history beneath. This is what happened in Lindbreen, Norway. The researchers believe the pass was used from the Roman Iron Age in 300 AD to the Viking Age in 1000 AD. Frozen for all this time, some of the items are in mint condition too. Number 7. Grasshopper Glacier Within Custer National Forest in Montana lies a glacier with an incredible link to the past. Embedded in the glacier are millions of grasshoppers, which have been there for at least a couple of hundred years and possibly even thousands. As Grasshopper Glacier recedes in these warming years, many of the grasshoppers are unfortunately quickly melting out and disintegrating. However, this has also given researchers an opportunity to discover that the glacier contains at least one species of extinct critters. The grasshoppers are believed to have been frozen into the ice while swarms were caught in blizzards. This is not an uncommon occurrence and there are actually a few grasshopper encrusted glaciers throughout the Rocky Mountains. Grasshopper Glacier gets its bizarre appearance from tens of millions of grasshoppers, locusts to be precise, entombed in its icy domain. The most popular theory for the glacier's multitude of frozen bugs is that centuries ago, a swarm of billions of locusts were migrating over the Rocky Mountains when they were trapped by a massive winter storm. The ice has frozen these specimens in time like an untamed living portal to a world that once was. Number 6. The St. Joseph Lighthouse Check out these stunning images. Captured by Joshua Nowicki, these atmospheric pictures show huge magnificent icicles dangling from the St. Joseph Lighthouse in Michigan, making it look like a frozen fairy tale palace. Built in 1859, the two stony lighthouses sit exposed to the elements of the Great Lake and was restored recently. And look at what the chilly weather did! Capturing the exciting shots proved to be a daunting experience for the photographer who ventured out in a wetsuit to protect him from the freezing cold weather, saying, Getting out to the location is difficult when the ice builds up on it. The height to which it covers the lighthouse truly demonstrates the power of the lake. It can be quite unnerving taking photos with the large icicles looming overhead. No doubt, it is very unpredictable as to when the ice will melt and large trunks might fall off. The structures featured in the series include the inner and outer lighthouse, the catwalk along the North Pier, as well as a beacon on the North Pier that's also heavily encased in ice. Just breathtaking, if not otherworldly pictures. Now what about that lighthouse selfie? Number 5. The Infamous Ice Car In the freezing winter of 2016, a car left in a parking lot near Lake Erie caught interest nationwide after it became an ice cube. Crazy, right? Dude, where's my car? Well, it's encased in ice in the parking lot. Thick ice. Let us paint you a picture. Can you imagine after a nice evening out, a delicious meal in a great restaurant and you decide after a drink or two to leave your car till the morning? The responsible thing to do. And you return to find this? Epic, right? The best case scenario is a viral sensation with the headline, Dear Ice, Can I Have My Car Back? Photos of this unbelievable mother nature made an ice sculpture went viral with many thinking he'd have to wait until spring to drive again. Winters on Lake Erie can be very, very long. A plan was hatched to liberate the car from the ice using some hot water and some sturdy manpower. The vehicle was freed, although a cool shell made of ice in the shape of the car was slowly chipped away. Once the car was free, it was taken to an auto body shop to thaw. Maybe take the bus next time or call a car service. Taxi! Number 4. Surfer Dan Frozen beards are a thing around Lake Superior in Michigan. Meet the king of frozen faces, Surfer Dan. Surfer Dan rocks the most celebrated beard buried by ice on the Great Lakes. An ice beard, great frozen tendrils of ice growing from the bright pink faces of the surfers who brave these frozen depths are the latest fashion. Surfer Dan looks like a surfing hero. He's been surfing for well over 20 years on Lake Superior and the surrounding Great Lakes. The cold doesn't seem to bother him as much as people would think for a man covered in ice. His wetsuit is very thick and made for such frigid temperatures. Some of the Great Lakes' best surfs come in late winter, when things are at their coldest and most bleak. Short, dark days, wind so frigid that the word frigid loses all meaning. 
the edges of those great freshwater lakes freeze solid. What look like wind-torn whitecaps on the horizon are in fact icebergs marching along the currents, but powerful winter storms mean strong winds, and giving the size of Lake Superior, it can also mean surprisingly good surf. And that's where you'll find Surfer Dan. Number 3. The Lost Squadron a World War II airplane that was lost in Greenland decades ago has been found deep beneath glacial ice. The warplane was part of the Lost Squadron and was first spotted by an aerial drone, though a ground-based survey confirmed the location. Searchers located the wreck of a P-38 Lightning fighter aircraft buried deep within a glacier more than 70 years after the Lost Squadron of U.S. warplanes crash-landed on the ice there during World War II. The search team intends to dig and melt the rediscovered warplane out of the glacier, and the searchers hope that their technique can locate other World War II air wrecks in the Greenland region. Their drone was scanning a part of the glacier where hints of the buried warplane were detected in 2011. A ground team then used a thermal probe to melt through the thick ice. It came up covered in hydraulic oil from the buried aircraft. But unfortunately, the buried plane was in a remote region made dangerous by hidden ice crevices, sudden storms, and hungry polar bears. It's a very cold weather region and an inhospitable location. Understatement of the year. Number 2. Lake Erie Ice Tsunami Recently, the National Weather Service in Buffalo, New York issued a warning about dangerous wind gusts in the Lake Erie area. Ice was becoming an issue. The service urged citizens to seek shelter indoors and avoid traveling if possible. Winds peaked at 74 miles per hour, the level of a Category 1 hurricane, and tore down trees and power lines throughout the region. It punctured right through the walls and into this and a dozen other structures. People who got close to Lake Erie during the windstorm witnessed a rare event, an ice tsunami. When wind pushed down on the lake's surface toward the retaining wall, the sheet broke apart and dumped massive ice chunks on the shore. Ice tsunamis, also known as ice shoves, are rare but well-documented events as far back as 1822 when an American naturalist commented on ice taking up a gradual line of marching along a lake bed and overcoming every obstacle in escaping the dominion of Neptune. This time in English, please. The first slabs of sheets move on shore, creating a traffic jam with ice piling on top and behind, a meteorologist explained. With a buildup of ice and the power behind it, it has the potential to damage anything in its path. Ice storm awesomeness. Number 1. Giant Permafrost Virus For the past 15,000 years, a glacier on the northwestern Tibetan plateau of China has hosted a party for some unusual guests, an ensemble of frozen viruses and a giant permafrost virus to boot. Giant viruses are not just bigger, but are hardier than others as well. This hardiness, along with a favorable environment, likely helped the newly discovered specimen stay intact for the thousands of years that it did. Viruses are often destroyed or rendered inactive by a number of factors, including light and biochemical degradation. Investigating these mysterious viruses could help scientists on two fronts. For one, these stowaways can teach researchers which viruses thrived in different climates and environments over time. However, in a worst-case scenario, this ice melt from climate change could release pathogens into the environment. If this happens, it's best to know as much about these viruses as possible. Studying ancient glacial microbes can be challenging. Amazingly, even after more than 30,000 years embedded into ancient permafrost, researchers found that the virus was still active. Kinda scary, but very cool. Those were 15 of the most surprising things found frozen in ice. Thanks for watching.